New at 11, 2019 will be a year of change for many, including Botetourt County Sheriff Ronnie Sprinkle. This is his 20th year as sheriff, and he recently announced it will be his last. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer sat down with him for the inside scoop and joins us now live in studio. Shane, why did he say that he's stepping away? Brittany Sheriff Ronnie Sprinkle says it's simple. He's in good health and good standing, and he's confident he could win another term. But like the old adage goes, when you know, you know. And right now, he knows this year will be his last. From behind his desk in a public safety building, he helped make happen. Botetourt County Sheriff Ronnie Sprinkle has decided to hand over the badge. I thought about it about three years ago. It's been on my mind for this last term, and uh, I guess about a month ago I made up my mind that you know, I wouldn't seek re-election this, this time. Sprinkle's father was sheriff here for 30 years, retiring in 1991, before his son won in the position in 1999. Save for those eight years in between, it will be the first time since the heat of the Vietnam War that a Sprinkle is not top cop, and the junior Sprinkle says it's time to move on. It's certainly harder to, uh, to hire people to come to this profession. Uh, technology has changed so much over the last 20 years with body cameras and uh, the expense of uh, keeping up with technology. Morale and technology in law enforcement are factors across the country, but explosive growth is unique to Botetot and will be a factor to wrestle with in the coming years. It's going to be um, uh, a challenge for whoever succeeds me and, and being able to uh, keep the resources here to to, to run the department effectively. Sprinkle expects growth to continue as more people find out about what he says is a great community. Looking back, he's grateful to play a small part in it. I just appreciate all they've done for our family throughout the years to, to allow us to, uh, to be sure for their county. As of right now, there's just one name publicly in the running. That's this man, Mike Vineyard, a retired officer from Roanoke City. Voters go to the polls to decide this November. Sprinkle and his wife have an adult daughter and many family members here in the area. He expects to stay in the county after retirement, but also said you never know what tomorrow may bring. In the studio, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.